Hello and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to introduce you to... Um, that was my HF rig going off, uh, my uh, VHF rig going off. Today I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite speakers um, for amateur radio use, which is the fabulous and vintage Yaesu um, SP5. It was made to match the uh, FT1000D many, many years ago, and it's still a, a very good performer. It's got low filters, high filters, a headphone jack, and you can switch between two inputs, A and B. Uh, the back, two RCA, RCA jacks, uh, one line out, and, uh, well, it's hollow. So um, I would advise you to put some sort of uh, acoustic form inside to improve the performance even further. It's a massive beast, so if you don't have the space for this, um, don't even think about it. But if you have a large enough shack and you want a speaker that lasts you, well, forever really, and then I recommend this one. Let's face it, the uh, built-in speakers of today's transceivers are very small, mostly mounted on top, and um, you get tired of listening to them. The hiss is just too much. And uh, this one here has got filters, gets rid of most of the hiss. Um, the bigger body also, you know, gives you a much more pleasant hearing experience. Um, all in all, good solid speaker, hard to find, hard to get. If you get one, buy one. They're not cheap, they're between 100 and 200 pounds, for a good example. Um, and that's about it. All that's left now to do is rig it up. And uh, I use my trusted um, ICOM IC718 to do this. So uh, let's do that. Okay, I hooked up the speaker to an old favorite of mine, the uh, ICOM IC718. I think it's one of the best um, field air rigs ever made. and. Um, I wouldn't sell it at all costs. It's uh, it's just lovely. So it's got a built-in speaker, the front speaker, so you have a direct comparison between the small tinny speaker and the massive Yaesu speaker. We just have a quick listen. Maybe I'll pump up the volume, it works better. So this is the internal speaker. Okay, it seems to be an American station. We're still on the small Radio tiny speaker. Now we're on the big speaker. You can immediately hear the difference. And even if you, as soon as you um, switch in the high filter, it becomes even more audible and it's a uh, it's much more pleasant to listen to over time my name is Ed Echo Delta 73 we're on the Yaesu speaker right now good morning signals are not too strong let's just wait for the American station to come back and I switch back to the uh, internal icon speaker which sounds very tinny in direct comparison. Now we're on the ICOM speaker again. Back on the AAC speaker. I think the difference is quite clear. Um, but it's, it comes to no surprise. This is a small speaker. This is a large speaker. Um, this speaker is worth every single penny. All right, I'm going to make another video about speakers in the near future. There are many alternatives, cheaper alternatives, I believe, and better alternatives. But I'll leave it for a later date. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.